Thank you very much. Okay, Viscount Ridley. Thank you, Chairman. Um, uh, I'm, su I'm surprised by what Professor Ferguson just said about Sweden, and I'd like to come back to it before I move on to R and R naught, if I might, because Uppsala University took the Imperial College model, or one of them, uh, and adapted it to Sweden and forecast deaths in Sweden of over 90,000 by the end of May if there was uh, no lockdown uh, and 40,000 if a full lockdown was enforced. In fact, there have only been 4,350 deaths in Sweden till the end of May. This does seem to be a huge discrepancy and suggests there was something wrong with the model. We've heard today that on the whole, the models are thought to have performed well. That doesn't sound to me like they have performed well. Uh, and with, but we are looking okay, forward. Let, let it, let, let it um, so I, can I just maybe respond to that quickly? Um, first of all, they did not use our model. They developed a model of their own. Um, we had no role in parameterizing it. Generally, the key aspect of modeling is how well you parameterize it against the available data. But to be absolutely clear, they did not use our model. They didn't adapt our model. I mean, yeah, but, but surely the key point is that uh, without a lockdown, from what we've just heard from both Professor Ferguson and Professor Keeling, one would expect a relatively high uh, death figure in Sweden. It's in fact much lower than no, that. I think, I think that is an interesting question. It's clear that there have been significant, has been significant social distancing in Sweden. And our best estimate is that has led to a reduction in the reproduction number to around one. It's clear when you look at their mortality, they're not seeing the rate of decline that most European countries are seeing. But nevertheless, it is interesting that adopting a policy which is short of a full lockdown, they've closed secondary schools and universities, and there is a significant amount of social distancing, but it's not a lockdown. And they have got quite a long way to the same effect, albeit they, yeah, there's no evidence of really a rapid decline in mortality there in the same way as other European countries. And so that is something we are looking at very closely. I mean, lockdowns are very crude policies. And what we would like to do is have much more targeted control of transmission going forward, which doesn't have the same economic impacts. 